Yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is a strange debate, Mr. Speaker. I, I mean, I'm glad the gentleman said that he personally condemns Vladimir Putin, but it still doesn't explain why he's not on this list. I mean, if everybody condemns Vladimir Putin, then why isn't he on this list? There are other communists on this list. And if we're, defend, if we're, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna condemn communism, fine, but communism isn't mentioned in this resolution. And people were talking about supporting capitalism, and capitalism is even mentioned in this resolution. So this is a, 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 ba this is a stupid resolution that was written poorly uh, to begin with. Uh, and, you know, and again, I would say to my colleagues that we gave you an opportunity to expand the list to include the Nationalist Socialist, National Socialist German Workers' Party, which are the Nazis, who were responsible for the killing of six million Jews, and everybody voted no on the Republican side. I, 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 I just can't get my head around why that was such a controversial addition. And our concern about this bill, and this is an interesting back and forth on history, and by the way, you know, when I go home, people are not bringing up Stalin and Lenin and Pol Pot all the time. They are bringing up Putin, and they are concerned about what he's doing in Ukraine. And maybe the reason why Putin is not on this list is because the other side of the aisle is divided in their support to help protect the sovereignty of the Ukrainian people. And maybe that's what we're going to see coming down the road uh, in, terms, in terms of budget cuts. I also want to say, uh, I want to ask unanimous uh, consent, Mr. Speaker, to insert into the record a piece by roll call entitled, House GOP Overlooks Internal Anti-Semitism, Points at Democrats. Mr. Speaker, House Republican leaders have repeatedly declined to condemn and punish anti-Semitism, hate, and violence pushed by members within their own party. I'd like to insert this in the record. Without objection. Yeah, and again, our, you know, my concern, I don't care how people vote, this is a meaningless, ridiculous waste of time, but my particular concern with this resolution is not all the whereas clauses, it's the resolve clause. It's the resolve clause. Um, and many of us are concerned because of the rhetoric on the other side of the aisle, because so many of you have referred to Medicare as a socialist program and Social Security as a socialist program. We asked last night simply to reassure us, and, and, and we had an amendment. You heard the amendment, Mr. DeCano spoke about it, that none of this has anything to do with Social Security and Medicare. And guess what, everybody? They all voted no. All voted no. So that's what our concern is about. Uh, and, um, you know, and people can say whatever they want on this. I mean, it, 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 I, I can't believe with all that's going on in the world, we're spending a day talking about this. Uh, but whatever. Uh, this is the new Republican list of priorities, and, and, and it, there's no wonder why the poll just came out showing that the majority of American people do not share the views and values and priorities of this current Republican House. I reserve my time.